Blessings, my brothers and sisters, your brother in Christ, John Ramirez. Hope you've been blessed today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just wanted to come on and, and just share a quick, a quick word, a quick teaching. Uh, I pray to bless you, help you, help you understand the things of the spirit, understand spiritual warfare. A lot of times we 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 put the carriage before the horse and 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 we we you know we out saying, Oh, I'm being attacked by this devil, I'm being attacked by that devil, I'm being attacked by this tormenting spirit and all that other stuff that jumps uh sometimes that we go through, you know, a firmly spirit, tormenting spirit of suicide, oppression, depression. And and we and we 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 go through these things and Rightfully so, these things do happen to believers, amen, to good believers, believers that love God, believers that really put their trust on the Lord, believers that want to walk with God, believers that really uh, want to know their purpose and their destiny, uh, believers that, you know, they on Sunday, they're in church, midweek service are there, they're faithful. But this is one thing I want, I want to teach you, I want to show you, that before things manifest, before things become strongholds and bondages in your life, you know, and, and uh, all demonic attacks come at you or they start to manifest, you know, the people saying, oh, I think things in my room or things are choking me or things are uh, having demonic dreams and stuff to that. Uh, these demonic uh, attacks from different uh, realm, realms of the spirit. Amen. One thing you understand, your, your mind is like a bad neighborhood. You know, and I, I know we have a lot of us, we say we got the mind of Christ, but it shifts. Your mind, sometimes the enemy shifts your mind. Sometimes the enemy, your mind is like a bad neighborhood. Don't walk your mind alone. Walk your mind with the word of God. Walk your mind, invite the Holy Spirit in your mind. Have your mind, uh, uh, be spon have spontaneous prayers in your mind. Amen. Spontaneous gratitude, spontaneous thankfulness, spontaneous thank you notes to the Lord throughout the day in your mind. Don't let your mind just wander. Don't let your mind be occupied with just uh, daydreaming. Or, or, or don't let your mind be cluttered with things that are, that are uh, really... Uh, the devil brings clutter into your mind, you know, question marks and why me and why am I going through this and Lord, what's going on and Lord, why, uh, you know, I'm going through this demonic attack. I think that the devil wants you to cultivate that. The devil wants you to uh, exercise that. The devil wants you to entertain that. The devil wants you to own it. Understand in your mind. So we, we don't want to own things. We don't want to uh, activate or cultivate or, 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 or reform things in your mind to give it, to give it the, the legal rights, uh, the stronghold, the bondages. That's why your mind, you know, your mind and, and a lot of us, yes, we do <clears throat> claim to have the mind of Christ. But the mind of Christ is this, cultivating your mind. With the word of God, cultivating your mind with scripture, cultivating your mind throughout the day, praising and worshiping God, you know, spontaneous prayers throughout the day. That's how you cultivate the mind. That's how you have the mind of Christ. That's, you know, you, you're always shifting the atmosphere of your mind to sending God thank you notes. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for what you did for me yesterday. Thank you. What happened last week, Lord, thank you. Even things that happened a couple of years ago. I thank God for things that he done for me years ago. You know, just to say, Lord, I just, I'm grateful. You know, because if it wasn't for what you did like years ago, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I, I keep reminding God, cultivating. I keep, you know, uh, marinating the good things, uh, the, the powerful things, uh, the anointed things, you know, the opportunity that God has given me uh, to, to serve him, to, to be part of a ministry because ministry doesn't belong to man. It belongs to the Holy Spirit. You hear a lot of people saying, my ministry, my ministry, my, my, my books, my this, my that. No, listen, if it wasn't for God, we have nothing. If, it, if God didn't bless you, we'll, we'll be naked. Amen. So, so, so learn how to use kingdom uh, mindsets in your mind, kingdom mindsets in your mind, thinking uh, the good things of God, thinking the, the, the promises of the Lord, the word of God. Amen. God is the word. Without the word, you know, Jesus became flesh. The Bible says in John, you know, and the word became flesh. So the, without the word, there's no Jesus. Without no Jesus, there's no word. Amen. That's why, that's why today you see a lot of churches don't preach the word anymore. So how could you have Jesus in your church when you're not preaching the word? The Bible said that Jesus became flesh. The word became flesh. It dwelt among us. Amen. So, so without, without having the word of God in your life, you don't have no Jesus. Without having the word of God in your marriage, you have no Jesus. Without having the word of God in your children, you have no Jesus. Whatever having the word of God in your church, you have no Jesus because Jesus is the word. Jesus is the word written form in the Bible. Amen. 
and we need to know how to cultivate these things and 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 make them the norm in your in your heart in your life in your, in your speech in your talk in your thinking throughout the day i mean you don't have to be a robot you know every 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 segment jesus 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 no but build build up your arsenal build up Build up your mindset, build up your heart, build up your mind, your thinking, your thoughts. Build it up throughout the day. Don't don't wait till Sunday so you can get it refilled. Don't don't wait till like Wednesday or Tuesday night prayer prayer service, mid service in your church so you can get it refilled. You can refill your car, man, throughout the day. You can check your you can check your car throughout the day. The car is the vehicle of your mind. You can check it out throughout the day. You can keep it saturated with the Word of God. You can keep it saturated with the good things He's done for you. Even the difficult things that God that has happened in my life, uh, my eyesight, uh, my mom going through cancer. I, I, I know people are going to say, well, you, oh, that sounds crazy. I thank God because He's in control. I thank God because He's bringing me to something that if, if I don't go through what I'm going through, I'll never see it. I never have the experience with it. I never see God a certain way. So I, I'm even thankful for those moments. Moments and they're difficult. Yes, are there moments that do I want them in my life? No, of course not. I mean, we always want the mountaintop. We don't want the valley. All right, but but I know in the process, in the process, the Lord is bringing me through. In in, in God's opportunity moments and His timing, He's bringing me through. The, you know, the Bible says that we walk through the shadow of the valley of darkness and we fear no evil, and He's bringing me through it. Because when John remembers, or you get on the other side, you're gonna see that it was sign miracles and wonders. You will see it was God's love, God's grace, God's mercy allow you to take the class and get the diploma because he's preparing you for something great and something amazing and something awesome. And that's why he's so awesome. No matter what you're going through in your mind, Lord, I am blessed. Lord, I'm highly favored. Lord, I'm the head. Not to tell. Lord, I'm the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Lord, I, I stand on the word of God. Devil, there's no weapon. Ain't no weapon. You might form one, but there's no weapon formed against me. Lord, I walk to the shallow of the valley of death, but I fear no evil because you walk with me. You talk with me. You hold my hand. You love me. You're preparing an awesome place for me to do ministry. You're preparing awesome blessings for me, and you're preparing this vessel to receive it and to honor you. All the days of my life because we are immortal we are immortal and the devil can destroy us until God calls us home I hope this bless you today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen